Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made this Christmas in Heaven poem with the little red rocking chair. I've seen this all over Pinterest and thought that I would show you guys how I made one for a dear friend of mine. It was very easy to do, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me show you what we did. Now for this project, I did have to use my husband uh, to help cut the wood and I'm using pre-primed whiteboard. It was about eight feet long and I believe it's like about two and a half inches wide or so. Uh, we got this at Home Depot. He cut me four pieces of the white. It's nine, 10, 11, and 12 inches. The base is about 15 inches and that is pressure treated shelving board that I'm gonna spray with this Kills to prime it. And then uh, for the top part here, I'm just going to hot glue the four pieces. Again, this was nine inches, 10 inches, 11 inches, and 12 inches. So that way it kind of tears off. And um, just using the hot glue worked perfect. On the back side, just to make sure it stays together, I'm taking two paint sticks and cutting them right before the little indentation there. And I used my 10 shears to do that and it creates a really clean line. And then I'm going to just put two of them right here on the back. Um, again, I'm using hot glue for this project. I didn't use any other type of glue. You certainly could use wood glue or whatever you'd like to work with. Now, once I have everything ready, I'm gonna use my uh, white chalk paint. And I just used um, two coats of this just to make sure that it was nice and bright white and that I didn't have any uh, spots bleeding through. And then inside the cracks where each of the boards are put together, I did go back and kind of do like an extra little layer or uh, whatnot to kind of fill in those seams so it didn't, you didn't really see the seams, if that makes any sense. Now for the little rocking chair, I got it at um, AC Moore for a dollar. They have two sizes. This is the larger size. And I'm gonna use my Americana Decor red chalk paint that I got for like $1.99 at Tuesday morning. I decided to use a paintbrush just so I'd be able to get in all the little nooks and crannies. I did do two coats of paint on this uh, just so it looked nice and solid and you did, it just didn't look uneven. Um, now, once everything is painted on the uh, piece here, the tiered piece, I painted the front, back, and the sides. I took my Cricut and cut out with some black vinyl the actual poem. I did two lines on each board. So here I am just peeling that off with some um, like contact paper, transfer tape, and I'm just gonna put that right on there. And if you don't have a cutting machine, I can see where this would be very difficult to do, but if you're good with painting or if your um, handwriting is really pretty, you could try to do this with like a Sharpie or something um, and write it. Uh, me personally, my handwriting is terrible, so this Cricut saved my life <laughs> more than one time. Um, so, you know, if you can do it, absolutely I applaud you but for me the Cricut was the best way for me now I've had these stickers I left over from a couple of projects I've been doing they're from the Dollar Tree and I just thought they would add some nice color um, if you have a cutting machine you could always cut out uh, with vinyl whatever um, you know decoration pieces you want on the end I just thought this was pretty and it just added a little bit of color to it Now this uh, ribbon that I'm gonna use is from the Dollar Tree. And I just thought it was pretty with the red and it's got the white um, swirls and kind of snowflakes on there. So the ribbon I am going to um, hot glue around the sides of the um, piece here. And I'm gonna start by gluing uh, to the bottom as well. So you'll see I just work my way all the way around with the hot glue. Now, the hot glue gun I'm using, I get a lot of questions about that. It's a Ryobi brand, and um, it, I 
it just has a battery on the bottom, which is nice. It's not, it doesn't have to worry about a cord or anything. However, I want to warn you that this thing gets super hot, so just be careful. If you get one of these, I burned my finger very badly <laughs> in the beginning. Now, to really make sure the ribbon um, stayed in place when I was going, I'm gonna call it like the stair steps right here. I decided to use a toothpick to be able to push it down again so I didn't burn my finger. And I apologize that the the view of the camera is not great um, on this, but you can, you can see I'm just working my way around and hot gluing everything here. And you can see the back is painted. So everything is ready to go. The base here, after I sprayed that kills on it, I did go back and paint it with the chalk paint as well. So it would be the same color. And then I'm going to add this top piece to the base. And I'm gonna be, again, using hot glue for that. And I just kinda of wanted to line it up and make sure that my rocking chair fit on here perfectly and just make sure to press down really good. Now for the rocking chair, I just kind of eyeballed it as to where I was going to add the glue. Um, so you just kind of want to see how you want to do that. And then I decided the top did need a bow, so I'm just making a really quick bow here out of that same ribbon. And then this project is done. Christmas in heaven, what do they do? They come down to earth to spend it with you. So save them a seat, just one empty chair. You may not see them, but they will be there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.